good for music. So why did we establish this competition at the time when the competitions are not needed? In fact, when I won the Bantua competition in Virginia, the, um, George Shandor, who was a student, a protege of Bartok himself, that was a Bartok competition. I remember the prize of this competition was to be a jury member. So I won the first prize, I was invited to go back at the jury member. And we would go for interviews, and my mentor at this point was Shandor, who was after the competition started, starting with him uh, at, at New York, he, he was a teacher at Julian at that time. He would say, I'm against competitions, competitions should not exist, competitions kill music. Right, so that was a healthy thinking about competitions in general. So why we actually put together this competition was to create a competition that was everything you want a competition to be and nothing of what, trying to get as less possible negative effects, side effects of competition. So never a horse race, never have a Chopin against a Chopin and another Chopin and Polonaise next to another Polonaise next to each other, uh, alternate, young uh, performers and older performers. When we talk older, we have had grandmothers that uh, go back to piano playing, like New York grandmothers, that have their kids gone, possibly their husband gone as well, divorced or something, they're like, I wanna miss that my life. And, they, and there's no competition in the world that they will take a grandmother to play for you Haydn again. But we take them. Or uh, in California, I remember cases of singers, you know, they're past their prime, life as, as mothers, and there is no, 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 no one is interested in a singer, a soprano that has a certain age already. They come to you, but they win, and they restart their career somehow. So this was first thing, no age limit. So anyone, anybody could come without age limit. Relax, choose your own repertoire. A competition is not there to establish your knowledge as an academic knowing all different composers, knowing it. At that stage, you play what you like most, what your soul connects most. So, repertoire, you choose the repertoire that you feel belongs to you. No letters of recommendation. Of course, many letters of recommendation come in. There's always a director of a conservatory or university, teachers, they write letters of recommendation. But you can write your own letter of recommendation. Say, I would like to participate in this competition for this reason, this reason. Usually, all the people that self-recommend are always accepted because there is an extra motivation to actually show up and perform and share your performance. So putting all these concepts together, we came up with this, with the IBLA formula of recognition. The winners, we never have a first, second, third prize, fourth prize, we never do it this way. But we say there is outstanding performance. Among the outstanding performance, there are the top prizes, one that get more votes. And the top prize could be zero, could be four. And so among all the outstanding performers, we choose the group that then is uh, invited to perform. And two in the United States, like we we're doing here, and then uh, Virginia, Arkansas, Mississippi, and, and then the view in New York, uh, or Asia. And when I say Asia, I mean before Vietnam, Cambodia, um, Korea, Malaysia, Myanmar, and then Tokyo, Japan. So the equivalent of the Americans with the New York in the last, and the top prize there in Japan. So that performers get this feeling of these uh, cultures, these nationalities. So that's the basic structure. Part of that, this is the group that is still in the USA right now. We are starting with Texas, then we have Virginia, then we have Ark back to Arkansas, Mississippi, and New York. Any question? No? We can start. Now, uh, I heard you play Chopin first. Right? Would you like to play for us? You are playing uh, a polonaise? Yes. And we have a pianist here playing a polonaise as well. Yes. So you alternate. You play yours, he plays it. We work a little bit of Chopin and polonaise. 